Tanse relatives, uh, greetings from my home city of Winnipeg here in Treaty 1 territory. It's been almost six months since I hit reboot and decided to surrender to Notawe, Numashuamis, and Gukumis uh, to their will that they have for my life. A big part of this change was asking for help to let go of mind altering substances especially the control of the spirit of alcohol on my mind, my body, and my spirit, and my emotional well-being. This was not something that I could do alone and required me to embrace the practice of radical honesty and rigorous authenticity with what I had left of a circle of support. It required me to surrender and ask for help to hit the pause on life and actually go live for three months in a treatment center for alcoholism and addiction. When I think about not drinking or smoking a joint for the rest of my life, it's a pretty daunting thought. However, with the program I'm working and the promises of the life sobriety brings, I find that when I wake up and I say, I can go to bed sober at the end of this day. It's not as challenging. I feel an immense peace and joy from this experience of being present. My sons especially are flourishing and I'm getting along with their mother and experiencing joy in co-parenting our bears. It is the greatest experience ever spending time in being present with my sons as they go through adolescence. I missed much of their childhood being on the road. A big part of my life change and surrender to Notawe and sobriety was tied to my work and how I show up for the movement. I have taken a big step back for my former life as an elite global campaigner, and I'm giving 110% to my new life as a full-time writer and artist. At 46, I just can't handle burning the candle at both ends anymore. And I really, really want a balanced life. The truth of the matter is I have a lot to offer closer to home in terms of ceremony, and supporting my community both here in Winnipeg and at the various Sundances I'm connected to, as well as back home in Pugatawagan Cree Nation. As far as culture, I'm the lead singer of a new drum yet to be named. My sons and I are hosting our first drum practice the first weekend next month in November. We will have a sweat have a feast and a naming ceremony for our big drum and light its pipe for the first time. My late grandpa, he was pretty strict and he said I was not to start a powwow drum group while I was helping my brother Perry run Sundance as his whip man during our 12 year commitment. But before my grandpa passed, uh, before the pandemic, he said I had permission. So years later, here we are. I'm certainly gonna need a lot of guidance and support as I enter this new phase. To sing for the people and to help the people dance is something that I take very seriously. I'll be asking my relatives and ancestors for support and guidance in this undertaking as I do not have the first idea of what it means to lead a powwow drum. I still don't know what work will look like for me in 2024, but I'm obsessing over the idea that colonization caused climate change and that the land back movement includes this idea of climate reparations. In short, the actions Canada and First Nations do in terms of implementing the 94 recommendations of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission 
and policy and actions on the existential threat of climate change are inextricably linked. Much of my public talks and writing moving forward will be under this broad idea of climate justice and reparations, truth and reconciliation in the economics of the Anthropocene. This week, I'm traveling with my oldest son, Felix, and my dear brother, Jeremy, to Treaty 4 to hunt moose with my brothers in Calasis. First Nation. It is my prayer that the Muswa Nation blesses us with a couple of moose to feed our families for the winter. I'm not employed at this moment and have been officially part of the gig economy. So I'm requesting mutual aid, support from my community to help us in our effort to get out of the city and onto the land so that we may feed our families for the winter. Ways to contribute are in the description. If you are interested in hiring me to travel in person or virtually present to your community, I'm actively touring and speaking across these lands they call Canada and internationally. I have posted information on the themes I can speak about and how to book me via my agency in the information below. If you're able to contribute to my mutual aid request, you can do so here in Canada via email money transfer at my email monsterredlight at gmail.com or internationally via PayPal at Clayton Author. For booking inquiries, you can contact my agent Rob Firing at Transatlantic Agency at the link in the description. And for information on my multimedia memoir, including my award-winning short documentary and my number one bestseller, uh, Life in the City of Dirty Water, you can go and visit lifeinthecityofdirtywater.com. In respect and peace, I thank you greatly.